you've already done the hard stuff. Your firewalls are locked down, conditional access is airtight, you've got Defender cloud scores up to 100%, and you've tested your disaster recovery plan twice. So what could you possibly still be missing? The one thing that separates a fully protected cloud from your cloud is your backup strategy. Now, wait, 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 hold on. Before you click away, I, I get it. Backups aren't exactly exciting, but even in the cloud, things can go wrong and you need to be protected. And that's why this video has been sponsored by AFI. And they've made it so simple to set up a solid backup and recovery strategy that is low maintenance, automated, and even supports users full self-service if you wanted to. To get started, just go here to app.afi.ai. And that's also linked in the video description. You just click over here and create your account. Then sign in with your global admin credentials. Make sure that you read through all of these things here that you'll be granting consent to, and then click accept. And then make sure that all this is correct, click agree to the terms, and if you want to help improve the service. And click next. Now you need your data source and I'll pick Azure. And next we need to install the AFI backup app into your Entra tenant as an enterprise application. And that goes right along with this AFI technologies app. Click accept and that'll be done in just a minute. Then you set your time zone and your region and check this box for all of the terms and then click start. Now your free trial is all set to go. First thing is to go up here to the protection tab. And here's where you'll see all of your resources. And you can also view them if you click up here by groups. And you've also got here the backup policies that they're using, which are called SLAs, along with their status and their size. Now to start protecting your resources, first we need to go up to the settings tab and you start off with some default policies showing how many times per day they back up, when they're scheduled and the retention and archiving. And you can even click up here and create a custom policy. Just give it a name and pick your schedule and then pick your retention and archiving thresholds and then click save and there you go. Now, when you back up, the data is going to be stored outside of your Azure subscription in AFI's cloud, which is spread across five different regions. Then you can also have your backup replicated across multiple regions if you need that extra level of protection. And if you go to the secrets tab, you see that they secure everything using TLS 1.3, AES 256 encryption as all of the best enterprise standards. And it also uses keys per tenant, per customer, per user that's managed for you. But you can bring your own keys if you need to. And there's independent third party audits that happen on a regular basis. And you can see any of the details if you need to, in case you need to demonstrate compliance to your folks. Now to set your protection policy, just check the box here for one of your resources, then click to assign the SLA, pick the policy that you want and click assign. But it's even better to assign policies automatically. Go up here to the resource groups tab, then check the box for the group, then pick your SLA and click assign. And this way, any new resources that end up in those groups automatically get backed up according to your policy. Now everything's scheduled and all ready to go, but you can run ad hoc backups right now if you want to. Just click right over here to check the box and then click to run your backup. Now while that's backing up, let's think about this for a second. Azure already has Azure Backup, so why should you consider using AFI's backup at all? Well, in Azure Backup, you have to deploy your recovery vault, then you have to configure it and secure it and lock it down, and next you have to create your backup policies and you have to do that for each individual different kind of resource that they support. And each one of those resources can only have one backup policy associated with it. Finally, you onboard each resource one at a time. And that'll of course only protect the data inside the resource, not any of their configurations or associated resource. It won't protect any of that. And it does nothing automatically. In AFI, all of your resources across all of your subscriptions get auto discovered and the backups are application consistent. And in the backup tab at the top, you can view those things by resource or resource group, and of course, all of your types. And you can have multiple policies as well assigned to each kind of device. In the settings tab, you can configure those policies the way you like, and the best part is you can apply them at the tenant level, subscription level, management group level, resource group level, or the individual resource, 
and you could do all of them at once. So when you create your new resources in the future, they automatically inherit your policies and get protected without you doing anything. And everything gets tracked for you right over there in the activity logs. And if you go to the configuration section, you can set up your reports and even integrate them with your seam solutions for all of your audits and real time alerts. Now, of course, backups are completely useless if you can't recover. Now, unlike Azure Backup, where you have to do a restore of a whole disk and then you generate an executable and then do an iSCSI attachment connection over the internet to your particular local device, then you've got to make sure, of course, all the ports are open. AFI does all of this stuff right here on the console. Just click the resource and then you have multiple recovery options. You can download the VM's current JSON config or just restore from a previous one. You could go to the volumes tab and drop right into the file system and just pick what you want out of here, which you could download or set up a restore job, which means that you can get real time access to all of the backup data and you can immediately download any of those things on the same network or a different network or a different region, wherever you need to. And the same goes for doing it for a disk, a network card config, public IP. And on the database side, you can do this for a whole database or just a particular table. Now managing and monitoring is even easier with AFI backup, as well as a centralized dashboard. You get predictive search, logging of all of your actions. And last but not least, you can set up users self service. Now, whenever you're going to allow a user to do a highly sensitive task, like mess around with data backups and restores, you need a highly granular configuration so that you can securely grant access to those users whether they need that for auditing, legal, HR review, compliance, discovery, or more. Go to the configuration on the left and then the admins tab. Click to create a new group and just select here the abilities that you want to give to those users. And then over here, you want to select the specific users that'll be part of this right. And then you click save. They'll end up with an email like this to click and join. And once they get verified, they're all set to go. And it's really that simple, but it's not all you should be doing. Check out this video because your M365 resources need protecting too. And happy learning.